Welcome back to the River Region TV show here on WSFA 12 News. We're talking with my friend Terry Barrett, the general manager of Air Nile Cooling and Heating. Hey, Terry. Hey, how are you? Yeah, good, man. Appreciate you joining us on the show. And uh, first, let's talk about these very funny TV commercials which have been running featuring Jimmy, who is the jack of all trades, your sort of unqualified <laughs> air conditioning technician. Jimmy is the opposite of Air Now. Yeah, absolutely. We could never hire a Jimmy. Number one, <laughs> JT, we go through a lot of different interviews um, before you can get hired with us. You also have to take a couple of different tests. Um, you know, we, we're really, when we're hiring, we're making sure that we're looking for the character number one of the person. We believe that if we hire the right person, we can teach them the skill or send them to some training to get them the right skill as far as working on heating and air systems. Uh, but we can't teach them to be a good person or do the right thing. So sure. that could never happen as far as us hiring Jimmy. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you're probably a lot better off without him, that's for sure. But that number, 334-408, definitely one to keep handy. Leanne and I have used it before, and it is service today, or it's free at Air Now. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, how to protect your air and heat system. Yeah, you know, there's there's several things that you can do. Number one, just really make sure that you have a, a, a good filter and it's clean. Sure. Uh, most people don't understand with filters, they're, you know, they're, there's a couple of things that they need to be, if they're clean, they're protecting your system. They're also protecting the air that's coming out in your home. But, you know, they also allow enough airflow to get into the system, which is what you need to get comfortable. If, it, if you don't have the airflow, you're not going to be comfortable sure. either. Exactly. I've had several technicians out of my house in years past and wanted to add Freon and they found a need for that. Well, a lot of people don't understand why a unit would burn Freon or why you would need to add Freon. Yeah, probably the big thing is to know that it's not like gas in your car. It doesn't use Freon, you know, as far as it's going to have to be replenished. Sure. Uh, matter of fact, it's a closed loop system. So if you're adding refrigerant, there's a reason. It's got to be going somewhere. So there's got to be a leak. It's like um, the air in a, in a tire. If you're having to put air into that tire, then there's obviously air that's leaking out. Well, refrigerant's the exact same way. Yeah. So if you're having to add, there's got to be a leak somewhere. Gotcha. The best thing to do, again, is to check out the website, airnowhvac.com. It's right there on your screen. Or call these guys like I've done, and uh, trust me, they'll do a great job for you. 3344, no wait. Terry, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. We'll talk to you again soon. More on the River Region TV show straight ahead.